13 weather forecast. Well, it has been a hot and rather humid uh, afternoon throughout the area. If you're fortunate enough to have not only the weekend, but today and then for tomorrow for the holiday off, well, you're really uh, enjoying some uh, very summer-like conditions out there. Maybe you're by the lake getting to cool off nicely, maybe by the pool. Certainly weather that is conducive for those activities. Uh, this is really uh, big time summer weather here and we're going to have it again for tomorrow with these temperatures breaking 90. As we go on through this evening, yes, we're going to keep an eye on the possibility of a few scattered storms right now. Those are more active up to the north and west, but uh, some of these may start to break off and work more to the east and southeast. That's not happening just yet, but here's a live look at our Doppler radar from Minneapolis. And you can see this line that extends uh, from parts of St. Croix County up to the north and east. Some embedded heavy rain for sure falling in these storms as they work generally towards the east at about 20 miles per hour. Lightning tracker indicating quite a few strikes in there as well. Not severe weather at this point, did have a few warnings earlier, did not meet criteria that I'm aware of at this point. Uh, but nonetheless, these could produce some small hail at least, and also some strong gusty winds in their vicinity. With so many people outdoors here for this holiday weekend, well, just make sure that you have a way to get that information should there be a warning. And obviously, if you're outside and the sky looks threatening or becomes threatening, seek shelter right away. You don't want to be caught out in these conditions. If you live in Barron County, these are headed in your general direction here uh, as you look along Highway 8 and up near 63 as well towards Shell Lake. Boy, it is hot outside. These areas are in the upper 80s, farther removed from the storms. Many places getting into the 90s this afternoon. We're not talking just 90. How about 95 right now in Ellsworth, La Crosse, Toma, Black River Falls, Eau Claire, Menominee, all sitting at 93 degrees. And we're not talking about very low dew points either. A lot of cases, they're in the 60s, even some very sticky 70s up towards the north. So it is very uncomfortable outside, with especially with the sunshine out as we're seeing up in Chippewa Falls. Here's a live look at our Nicolay Bank Skycam at the uh, fairgrounds and not too many clouds out there in that vantage point, 91 degrees. Southwest wind at 15, our relative humidity at 47%. Yeah, it is sticky outside. We've got hot and humid weather continuing into the holiday tomorrow. Scattered thunderstorms are likely the big question is when do they form and will they impact the fireworks tomorrow night? Those are questions that I don't have 100% of an answer for you. We have to keep an eye on that, but there is the possibility of a few of those turning severe. Large hail, damaging winds would be the greatest threat. Tornado looks to be pretty low, non-zero, but pretty low and flooding also on the lower end. Tonight's storms coming with this front, all that action out ahead of it developing as this bumps into the hot and sticky weather. And uh, we'll see those storms continue to track to the east and southeast at the very least, producing some needed rain. But once the sun goes down, a lot of these do dissipate. And then for tomorrow, the secondary system coming in and some favorable upper level winds. We'll have to wait and see what develops. Skycast isn't too excited about the possibilities right now, but other forecast guidance does suggest that risk of severe weather. And remember, we are into that level two risk for tomorrow. As those storms move on through, well, we'll get on the backside and it will be noticeably cooler. We're gonna get some natural air conditioning for the middle <laughs> and later part of the week. So focus is on tomorrow mm -hmm. and always have that Skywarn 13 weather app front yep. and center uh, because you can track the storms and also that severe risk as well. Yes, very important. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks, Darren. Yep.